was so overwhelmed when I experienced the calf the first time. It's one of those things, I, I have to have it. These cars have historical context of being built in an era that was just absolutely unrepeatable. Tri-power carburettors, manual brakes, i.e. there's no brake servos. So this person deleted the brake servo from the order form. Take it off the car, don't want it. Delete the power steering, no electric windows, no electric seats. Give me a bit of imperfection, please. I want a car that feels like a bunch of guys had a late boozy lunch on a Friday, got back to work and said, fellas, we are gonna build a car. I think most car nuts agree there is just something about an old-fashioned V8 with a 90 degree crank and the incorrect firing order, strictly speaking. It just sounds wonderful. Generally, big, heavy cars don't handle, no matter who builds it. You're building something with enormous mass and power, it's not going to be fun to fling around and to transfer weight and change direction quickly. However, having said that, Let's not forget that in 1963, the British Touring Car Championship was won by Jack Sears driving a Ford Galaxy. The 65 GTO is not a way to cover ground quickly. It, it, it just isn't. And yet, me, the power-crazed speed junkie, I, I couldn't care less when I'm in it. It's funny how on paper it falls short in many areas and yet on practice it is so fulfilling. And then after a while you realise it's not you running away with the car. The car's running away with you.